Very good morning to everyone and welcome to Travels with Sheila. First of all, very fast shout out to Jatenda, Barbara, David, Pedro, Daniel, all my friends in Australia, all my friends in Europe, all my friends everywhere in the world. I consider my viewers as my friends. Thanks so much for all your views and your comments. Steve and I are heading off to Alaska. Now, you know, travel is not easy in the best of circumstances, even in a perfect world. And with COVID, the aggravation has just doubled along with the nerves of getting anywhere. Even Americans cannot go to Alaska without a COVID test that must be taken 72 hours before you arrive. Plus you have to fill out a form on the Alaska portal. Ta-da! Here we have two negative COVID tests. We are good to go. We are flying United from Chicago to Denver and then Denver on to Anchorage. Once again, because of COVID, there are no more nonstop flights from Chicago up to Anchorage. We're flying a 737-900 on the first flight, a 737-800 on the second flight, upgraded on the first, on the wait list for the second, which is absolutely no big deal since the airlines are just serving little snacks like uh, gummy bears and chips and things like that. There's no great big food orgy. Once we arrive in Anchorage, we're spending one night only at a Ramada, which is near the Alaska train station. It's important to know that basically Alaska season, for transportation's sake, ends on September 15th. And after that, the only public transportation is a train up to where we're going, which is Talkeetna. Talkeetna is a small town of about 600 people and the gateway to Denali National Park. So the train up to Talkeetna only runs northbound on a Saturday, southbound on a Sunday. Therefore, we are staying in Talkeetna for a solid week because we did not want to drive. Steve spent his whole life in a car as a salesman and just abhors driving for pleasure. We're going to stay up there in Talkeetna and hopefully see the Northern Lights. If we don't, that's okay. Perhaps take a flight seeing trip around Denali, which is North America's tallest mountain, and who knows what else. But whatever it's going to be, it's a change of scenery, and I know we're going to enjoy ourselves. And in the spirit of heading to Alaska, home of free thinkers, I am going to channel my internal eccentric. And let's give a two ears up for Alaska. Perhaps we're going to start a new precedence. And when we eat out, rate something one ear <laughs> or two ears. Please come with us and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Love to you all. Stay well.